All right, guys, we are back with some more 2K, my career. We have some messages before we do anything today. Justice. Orange juice. Oh, I already did this. Oh, okay. I'll just skip this because I already did it in the last episode. And then, hey, Alana. Next up, day off, sure. Woohoo. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, yeah, we already did that, I suppose. Uh, so, we got that W last episode. We have three W's so far. Now, what we got today, um, we have an open facility, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do the Bishes Bureau, team practice, open facility, and then we got another open facility, and then we have the Nuggets. So, a little shorter, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and run to this real quick. In this event I'm gonna show you what I get for going nice okay and then it says I have new messages again is it gonna keep on doing this with justice okay press a few of us are heading out okay at four For what? <coughs> sure. Cool. And John Wall. Hey, press. Yeah. You always know how to get fans excited. Really enjoyed game against the Grizzlies last night. Thanks, bruh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so now, I'm gonna do team practice, and then we're gonna go hang out with Justice, and then go to the practice facility, and, uh, yeah, so if anything happens between team practice, Justice, and the two practice facilities, then I'll see them, but if not, then I'll see you at the big game. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? I bring you the president of Hoops. Oh, the president of Hoops. Sorry. Good to meet you. Right, I'm honored. I'm gonna need you to hook him up. Give him that presidential cut. The presidential cut. Come on, you know, hook him up. Presidential cut. We do regular haircuts here, so I hope you like just regular haircuts. Man, don't let him lie to you. Hook him up with one of them well, special ice cuts. Hook him up. Why you keep on saying hook him up? I'm gonna hook him up more. This is a barbershop. I'm gonna hook him up more than this cut. Yeah, man, just hair. just keep it simple, Ice. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it cleaned up. Nothing crazy. All right, that I can work with. Yeah. Hook him up. So I see you brought your boy. Yeah. You bring us some tickets? Oh, I got tickets for you guys. Just not today. Of course not today. Uh, not today. It wasn't yesterday either. When we get back from the road trip, we got you. And y'all wanted to hook up. <laughs> Where's our hook up? I'm exactly. Not, I'm bringing the future MVP to the league. Reciprocation, man. That's one haircut. We can reciprocate. I got some sneakers for you. Okay. You want some sneakers? See? I take some sneakers. I don't want your sneakers. <laughs> okay. All right. You gonna give me a cut? I got some shorts. I got you. Yeah, you just give me a little lineup, man. Don't do nothing too, too special. Man. Happy you came back. Hey, man, you be doing. <laughs> <laughs> On a Tuesday, catch a girl because she's Tuesday. Fuck going up. On a Tuesday. Ice is nice. Ooh, let me see what that this trophy's about. Go to the barbershop with justice. I'm going up on Tuesday.
<sighs> Alright guys, so we also got some new messages. Let me see. Bruce. <clears throat> it looks like hanging out with Justice is already playing paying dividends. Don't know what that means. Cool. <laughs> Watch your calendar for another opportunity with justice. We got 4,000 fans. Cool. Alright, so, we've got two open facilities and then, uh, the big game. So, I'll see you guys soon. Nobody's around to see it. Now, I just want to see how good this lockdown defense really is. I ain't lose a boss dinner for a week. No, 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 no. What's up? College rules. <laughs> okay, then. All right, well, uh, I don't know. I'll probably show you if I win or not. I won't show you the whole thing, but. Oh. Right, let me go make a phone call to Bruce, and I'll have him send you those Gatorades. Wait, Bruce? Bruce ain't lose the bet. You did Bruce handles all my business. You know that, right? All right, touche. Year supply, right? Touche. A year. Okay. All right. All right, guys. After all this bullshit that I had to put up with, uh, we're going to the game against the Nuggets. Can we get a fourth win today? I don't know. Don't care. I'm sorry. Two K Sports pregame show sponsored by Kia. Hello, everybody. Glad you could join us here on 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Next to me, Kenny, the Jet Smith, and Dr. Shaquille O'Neal. Our coverage tonight from Target Center, as the Minnesota Timberwolves will be playing against the Denver Nuggets. For the Nuggets, this is a team they played pretty well against last season, going 3-1. They'll look to keep that edge tonight. Oh, the fans have been anticipating this one. Anytime you have two teams filled with this much athleticism, you know you're in for some highlight real stuff. Kenny, what are your thoughts on what we are about to see right now? See, actually, I'm thinking of something. Yeah, sorry, I really don't care. Let's just get to the game. This here mine. This here mine. That's it right there. This here mine. What are you doing? I work on my sinister dance. Everybody got sinister dance when they get hot. Okay. Y'all work that out. Yeah. I got, yeah. I got practice. Baby, come on, sit. Yo, Denver, mm -hmm. just let it flow, man. Like, whatever happens spontaneously on the court, let that be it. Man, I'm going to be ready for mine. Watch, friends. When coach calls me out there, I'm going to have my shot down. I'm going to have my dance down. All right, let's see it. Everybody goes to go. Because <clears throat> this right here, this is me pointing like this here, mine. Ready? This here, mine. This here, mine. Everybody can do it. This here, mine. Where the rap is at? This here, mine. I'm gonna call Drake. Someone get Drake in the phone. This here, mine. Hey, that's right there. That's the one. That's the way you shoot it. Mm, okay then. Oh, so we're three and zero. Oh, I thought. Okay, okay, okay. I thought. Okay, I thought we were at the left the last time. That I thought I was wrong, but. One sure. All right. This here mine. David, thank you yeah, fuck you. What a team the US put together for that tournament. So we're benched. By the time they played Australia in the finals, any doubters that might have wondered why he was on the roster were quickly silenced. 
Let's go ahead. All right. We are winning. Two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Young dishes to Towns. Towns sets the pick from. Get into the paint. You're open. Yes. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Barton outside to the paint. Here's Jokic. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, I don't know why all oh, fuck. <laughs> like, there's four of my teammates in the fucking paint, man. I know I fucked up, but Jesus. Yeah, that's why he has a fucked up haircut. Interesting to see how he develops in the next Damn it. Gorky Dangs checked in for the Timberwolves. Okay. Jones comes in for Levine. Let's go. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yeah. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Still believe that the Nuggets play their best when the ball is moving around. They what the fuck? Create shots and open up opportunities. They don't have a lot of great isolation players. Denver making a oh, retarded. And with the Nuggets being at their best when their assist numbers are so high. I even knew square because I didn't want to miss it. The Nuggets have not had an all-star. I thought we had the ball. I was like, wait, what's going on? best when relying on one another. That builds a lot of team chemistry and a lot of team confidence. A high number of their baskets were assisted on last year. And you love playing with a selfless team. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. I'm in the paint. I'm in the paint. I'm in the paint. Ah, oh, you bitch. Yeah, that's my fault. Because he, he called for a pass, but no. Thank you. Don't call for a pass if you're not open next time. Plus, I didn't mean to call for a pass. The ball out for the Thank you. And how big of a treat was it for Prez to play alongside all the great American players over the summer? Just about the best way to transition to the Mine. NBA. And he was able to help out in their title game win over Australia. But more importantly for Prez, it was the perfect situation to come in and see how best to approach. Get the fuck out, dude. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Are you fucking kidding me? Chandler's got his first bucket of the night. Textbook assist there from Will Barton, moving the ball around. Sometimes you just get rewarded like you did there. And Jang kicks to G. Ah. The Timberwolves shooting their third and fourth free throws. Hey, don't fuck up this time, please. Back a season ago, they, they did a solid job at the line. About 79 percent of their free throws. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Why is my guy being retarded? Pass. Okay. That's cool. Fucking don't pass. Be retarded. Feeds it to Murray. From deep three point range. At least we're crushed. And here's Prez on what it's like to be a top five pick in the NBA draft. Oh, yeah, man. It was a dream come true. I mean, you know, I wasn't really sure where I was going to be drafted, so I just thought about all the hard work that got me to that moment and tried to enjoy the process. And I think everything turned out exactly as it was supposed to happen. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what me and my teammates are going to accomplish. It's going to be fun, I think. How high are the expectations for Prez you guys think this season? All right, so we're benched again. Let's come back. Okay. We're at a B minus, not bad. Keep on drawing that foul, boy. They've got Nikola Jokic. Then it's Wilson Chandler. And it's Plumley in the power four. You could barely see because that thing was in the way. Skills, a fierce competitor who demands the best from himself. Oh, wrong guy, wrong guy. Pass to Plumley. 
131 left to play in the first half. Murray kicks to Jokic, the 17 footer. And he didn't get Damn it. under that one. Fuck you, Justice. I have no clue what happened with the defense there, but they should be thanking their lucky stars that somehow he bricked that golden opportunity. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with <laughs> Dude, just keep on drawing those fouls, boy. Behind the rest of his game before he came to the NBA, but he's found he can use his size to post up immediately. It's a talent that many players don't develop until they've been in the league. What? Devin, he's got the footwork and Are you fucking kidding me? He's almost certain to be that is retarded. Sure does. Thanks, DA. To the paint. Here's Plumley, and he banks it. Okay. Well, that's not my fault because it would not let me fucking go, dude. <sighs> okay. Never penalize me for literally not allowing my guy to go. Yeah. Alright. Quick interruption. Let's get back into it. Possessions this first half, they've established great nice. inside position. The 15 footer, Denver grabs the miss. Jokic just got his fourth rebound with that last one here. Watch me get in trouble for Murray. The pass to Jokic. Barton kicks Wait. to Jokic. Wait, what? Goes. He's got eight. What? Well, My guy just quarter, <laughs> good second. This could be a big night. Outside Jones. Ass. Here's G. Blumley with some nice Just <laughs> this fucking game is so stupid. You need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And with how did I leave leave the assignment? Tell me how I left my assignment. I am running as fast as I can. Such a soft looking shot, especially from I I'm literally running as fast as I can and it just deducts points for me. How am I supposed to have fun in this game when it's fucking broken? From the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thank you. Andrew, the energy and effort were apparent throughout that first half. How were you able to do it? Uh, yeah, fuck you. Bring it in. We have not won this game yet. Listen, guys, we've got one guy doing all the damage out there. Everything is going right for him on the perimeter. I want you tight on him every time he touches the ball. Force him to put it on the ground. No easy buckets. Now let's get out there and win this game. We come back to Minnesota now with a striking look at the 10th Avenue Bridge, downtown Minneapolis, off in the distance. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Andrew Wiggins really making a difference here. Yeah, you just love it when the decision making. Substitute. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. <sighs> Jack in for Towns. Gorgi Dang comes in for Bialit. Shabazz Muhammad's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. Young is subbed in for Levine. Big group substitution here Shire for Denver. bitch. Plumley is checked in for Kenneth Fareed. Chandler comes in for Gallinari. Bill Barton is checked in for Harris. And Murray subbed in for Jameer Nelson. G in its center. Muhammad is out there with Gorgi Dang. And it's Young, and it's Rubio in at the point. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. And that one's good, Jokic. <laughs> Why? Why? Just why? Why is this game so stupid? Me out. Here's Muhammad. Five points in the game. That one drops for him. Rubio's got four points. Just god damn it, man. Instincts on his part right there to sense the opening and then exploit it. Denver passing it around. Why is my guy? Why does he keep running forward like that, man? Here's Chandler, and he uses the glass on the way. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. And Muhammad kicks to G. And one, baby. And he's going to the line for one more. 
Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Maialica, he's checked in for Minnesota. Jameer Nelson's checked in for the Nuggets. The Nuggets trail by four. Knocked away. Make that dunk. Yes. And the Timberwolves lead by six. And Young is comfortable operating inside when he gets that close to the nice. Ring, the D has no chance. Mike Malone moments ago with some words for his players. Stops and run. Stops and run. Sense of urgency, man. Come on. I mean, we got to get this win. Trying to stoke the fire under his team. Mike Malone asking his guys. Oh, and I the start. And this cool. Is the time when the Starting the fourth quarter. Need to step up. Fed. Control and make things happen. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the four for Denver. Gallinari and Fareed, the duo with the forward. Gary Harris is out there with Jameer Nelson. And it's Jokic in at the five. Good, and I nice assist for Nelson. <laughs> That's my fault, right? Because my fucking guy decides to just rave his hand in the air instead I hit the ball. I can't control what this fucking game wants me to do, so. What the fuck was that? It's rebounded by Towns. Timberwolves leading by six. He kicks it to G. And it's G. Ooh. It off. And I love the shot selection by Perez. Playing well within the offense there and burying a lot of buckets in the process. Oh my on this motherfucker. Nelson outside. Pass to Harris. Takes the three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Wiggins has got three rebounds so far in the game. And outside to the inside. Here's G. And five Damn it. called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot. Wait, why did, why did I lose points? Shooting for Minnesota. No good on that one. Oh my fucking god, dude. Going back out there on the sideline. He left Sacramento and kind of Brandon Odd. <laughs> what is he doing? How is that my fault? Dude, it is just not even fun to play this damn game. He did a tremendous job. Literally impossible to not. And it was a bit shocking that he was removed from that position. But Denver swiping him up, moving forward, and now they have a coach for their future. It's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Of course, sit me out. Whatever. This game is fucking retarded. The first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And this is what they came out to do. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Craig Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long. Yeah, 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 good game, y'all. Nice work. No thanks to me. I'm surprised coach didn't pull me sooner. That's all right, man. It's all good.
Alright, Prez. Time to talk shoes. As a top draft pick with a great nickname, the sky is the limit. Now these companies believe in you and what you can be in the league. So picture this. Nike wants to bring you on the team right away with a cash deal. We're talking regular check and bonuses based on your performance. So they're gonna put you in a Nike team shoe to start. But if you continue to dominate like I know you will, we're talking signature shoe. Nike's gonna look real good on you. Right next door is Brand Jordan, Team MJ. Sounds pretty good, right? They wanna start you out with a cash deal and put you in in a team-themed shoe. And if you continue to rise, if your star gets higher, they wanna graduate you from a custom colorway all the way to your customized signature shoe and all the perks that go with it. But what they really want is for you to be the face of the brand. You and the power and prestige of Jordan, the GOAT himself riding side by side off into the sunset. I mean, come on. Jordan, are you kidding me? They look awesome. Check this out. Under Armour is counting on you joining. They want to start you off with a cash deal with a lot of room for bonuses. And they also want to set you up with your very own custom colorway. They're gonna make you like the face of the brand. I think this is the perfect opportunity to segue us into your own signature shoe. I mean, Under Armour came to play. Did we come to play? I came to play. I know you came to play. And last, but certainly not least, Adidas. And they wanna run with the presidential theme. I mean, they're talking billboards, cash deal, and they wanna make you a custom colorway, Adidas shoe, featuring the colors of the American flag. And get this, they want a custom billboard with the presidential theme. And we're talking commercials, ads, signature shoes. I mean, I think Adidas is the place to go if we want to run with the presidential theme. I'm in. Are you? So it's up to you. I mean, I know it's a lot to think about, but you're in a pretty good position right here. Look, I don't know, Bruce. I feel like this is harder than picking a college. You know? Like, way harder. I, I need a, a spreadsheet to remember all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. But, you know, personally, you can't lose, right? You're in a win-win situation. So it's wherever you feel the most comfortable. And not just on your feet, but as a business partner. So take your time, kick back, relax, think about it, and I just need an answer in about five minutes. Um, personally, I like Nike, so that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Nike. Great choice. This is the beginning of big things. Nike is going to be pumped. I hope so, man. Can't wait to get it started. Fire in the hole. <sighs> Feel good about it. Gotta love it. All right, cool. Make that dunk real quick. Oh my god. Here we go. Alright, so cool. That's gonna finish off the episode. Oh my god, that was terrible. Wait, who's coming in? This guy just always bars us in. Like, who the fuck is he? Okay. So we got that W40, baby. So we got some practice facilities. We won't go to that one, but we'll go to the Z Protein Bar. Got some open facilities. And then we got the thunder. So looks looks good to me, everybody. That's what we're gonna be doing next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here. Love you guys.